A massive manhunt through the night, but no sign of Mark Keith Lloyd, a man police called desperate and extremely dangerous, on the run after allegedly down Master Sergeant Deborah Clayton. We, we lost a guardian angel today. Police say Clayton, a 17-year veteran of the force, approached Lloyd after receiving a tip that he was in the area. An Orange County deputy searching for the fugitive was also killed when his motorcycle was hit in a traffic accident. Deputy First Class Norman Lewis was an 11-year veteran. Its criminal history stretches back more than two decades and includes a laundry list of felony charges and convictions. He had already been on the run for nearly a month with his pregnant ex-girlfriend, Sade Dixon. Last month on what appears to be Lloyd's Facebook page, he apparently wrote, goals to be on America's most wanted. How did you do it? They beat me up. We're going to bring this dirt bag to justice and he's going to jail. Police along with sheriff's deputies and U.S. Marshals surrounded an abandoned home Tuesday night in southwest Orlando. They've been tracking Lloyd's phone and they were able to zero in on his location through pings. The police chief says when Lloyd walked out of the house, he was wearing tactical gear and these were in his hands, which he then dropped to the ground. It's been an intense... Yeah. 
you just move for All right, so I'll just say that. You got a pretty Oh, this is the second thing? Here? Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. We've been catching a lot of stuff. Wow. Yes. Caught a signal. Caught a signal. Good job, man. Good job. Okay. All right. Hello. Oh, no. I heard it. Okay. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Oh, man. You. All right. Now, you. You still got some going on. Just take it down. So take, take it down. Take it from the no, we just wait over the cell phone. Take sure where. Hey, Brian, it's, it's my okay. place. All right. I think this is free. All right. Oh.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
in charge. Where the fear is at? I'm talking about Asian man. Okay. Uh, can you talk, can you sit up and tell me your name? 
Okay, we can work on that. Let me see. Let me see the I got it. Okay. I can see the. I can see space in the handcuff. I can see space between the skin there. I'm, I'm gonna open up. Listen, I'm gonna open up just a little bit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, just a little bit. You understand me? Yes, sir. Alright, that's enough on that one. Okay. Oh shit. Oh, hold on, stay. hold on. Hold he's got to get to it, man. Oh. he got to get to it. Oh shit. You're a pretty bulky guy, oh. so. Oh. oh. Come on, man. It ain't nothing, bro. Don't put it in. Oh. oh. What's wrong with this? If you move it, it's gonna turn up. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, you didn't even feel it. didn't even move that motherfucker. Shit, kill me, bro. Alright, this is what I'm gonna do real quick, man. Face me. Oh. Face me. Face me, Marquis. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe a little bit of your face, alright? I don't think that's gonna do much, but. I'm only gonna do it. Look, look up a little bit. That hurt? No. Alright, you good? Okay, I'm good too. I did a little bit, man. We'll get the rest in a little bit, okay? Detective K is 12277, reference case number 2017-11345. Date today is January 17th, 2017. Time is 1954 hours. We're in CID interview room number five. Mark Keith, give me your name and date of birth again. Okay, Mark Keith, listen up real quick. Right now you're under arrest, okay? You have the right to remain silent. You understand that? Mm. Anything you say may be used against you in court. You understand that? Mm. Can you speak up a little bit? Yes, sir. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before and during questioning. You understand that? Mm. Yes, sir. If you can't afford a lawyer and want one, one will be provided for you before questioning without charge. You understand that? Yes, sir. Anyone threaten you or promise you anything right now to get you to talk to us? No, sir. Okay. Uh, also in the room... Is the, this is Detective Danny Garcia Pagan with the Orange County Sheriff's Office Homicide Unit. Okay. Mark Keith, you know, you know why you're here tonight, right? Yeah. Okay. Can you tell us why you think you're here tonight? You've obviously been hiding for, for quite a while. You've been running from place to place. Uh, you're in custody tonight for an obviously a pretty serious offense. Can you tell us why you're why you're in custody tonight? Well, you're in custody for homicide, okay? All right. Can you tell? Can you tell us where you were all day today? Well, I'm sorry. We'll talk about that in a second. Can you tell us where you where you've been today? Were you at the house all day today? No, I don't know. You don't know. I'm fucked up right now. Marquis. Okay, Marquis, just talk to us. Sit up. Sit up a little bit. You're not that fucked up. You I can ain't talk. Fucked up. Okay. Sit up and talk to us a little bit. This is in reference to a homicide for uh, that occurred about a week ago, and you know the one we're talking about. You've been running for a reason. You've been all over the news. You're, you're well aware of what, why we've been looking for you. I'm running because the news make because y'all making up stories. And tell us what story we're making up and tell us why it shouldn't be believed. I, I, I just came to the house, started shooting shot. It was that's a, that's a complete lie. You just what? Was that's a complete lie? What is? That I just came to the house and shot shot. It. That's a complete lie. Okay. okay. Well, those are the things that we want. Listen to me, man. It's been a long, long freaking month. We've been running around doing a lot of different things. Understand that I'm here just as tired as you are, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been racking my brains, man. You've been doing pretty good for a month. You got me for a month. 
or right here sitting now, dude, we're going to go ahead and clarify some things. If I'm wrong about something, I'll be the first one to admit that I'm wrong. But it's up to you to clarify what's been going on. Sit up, man. I'm trying to give you some respect, man. See, in the street, it goes like this. In the street, Marquis wants respect, and he wants everybody to give it to him. And guess what? I'm going to give it to you whether you deserve it or not. But right now, you know what I need? I need you to give me a little bit, because I deserve it. Okay? I'm here giving you all the respect in the world. That is respect. Okay? Well, I'm gonna, all I want to do is talk to you and figure some, something. It's holy brutality. I ain't dead, see? But you, you know what happened to Shade? That was bad, too. So if you can explain to me what happened, maybe I can understand it. Because I'm looking at you like you did something wrong, and if you didn't do something wrong, then you got to explain it to me. Y'all know what happened, Shadé. They put a gun on me. Y'all know what happened. Y'all got the goddamn... So who's going to tell me that if, it's, if it ain't you? You're the only one that was there. You, Shadé, Ronald, all the people. But I wasn't there. And right now, how we're going to clarify these things is you telling me what happened. Because I don't want to guess anymore. I want to be right. And I want to I want to write the story that you tell me is your story. You control that, cause you're the one that, that was there. But a lot of things have happened since December 13th, man. And only you can clarify that. See, I'm not sitting here. He's not sitting here. We're not playing with you. All we want to know is the truth. We're here already, man. This this part of the the the, the story is already written. We're gonna move forward from here. You write the rest. But what I don't want is for me to give you respect and for you treat me like I'm a punk, you can't even sit up and look at me. Bro, y'all just beat my ass. I don't want to hear that shit. Marquis, ain't nobody in this room beat your ass. I wasn't this is there, your bro. opportunity. This is the opportunity you no, have right now. just beat my ass. I ain't coming here like this. I want this like is this your opportunity right now to tell no, us the story of what happened and tell us what happened. Shit, bro. Okay, so right now I want to give you what you deserve. So why don't you talk to me and tell me what's up, man? You've been running for a little while. We've been talking to a lot of people, and you know it, man. Your face has been all over the TV. We're running to stay out the goddamn way, not fuck with nobody. So what happened with Sade? I know she got in your face. I know she said some things to you that you didn't like. I, I broke up with Sade. Because why? Because she was lying about smoking. Because she was pregnant with your baby, and you told her to stop smoking because that's bad for the baby. She was lying about smoking. Yeah, so I know that. But tell me what else happened. What, what, what got to the point that you had to do what you had to do? If you had to defend yourself, then you need to tell me, man. Y'all know Sade when he got a gun. Y'all got a gun. What happened downstairs? She, she when he got a gun, her brother ended up coming out and he jumped on me. That's how, he, how the shit happened. Which one? The older brother or the younger brother? Because she's got two brothers. The older brother and the younger brother got dropped out by man was outside talking to all that about me just coming there and shooting up the place, that's a fucking lie. That's not, that's not what, that's not what's been written. This, that, that's, that was been no, 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 I'm telling, no, 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 I'm telling you, I, what, seen, I wrote it. I'm seeing it on news myself. Marquis, forget the news. The news put in there whatever they want to put in there. I'm telling you, I'm the one who wrote it. That's what they did, that's what they said. No, that's what the news are saying. They're gonna, they're gonna fill in the blanks. I just came to the door, started shooting, shot you, that's a fucking lie. That's not what was written. Okay, I'm telling you, I wrote it. And that's not what was written. There was the news there. I don't care about the news. I don't work for the news. Shit. What I said was this. I said that you went there. The news prosecute me. No, for, forget the, 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 well, then, then tell the truth about what happened, and we can clear some of that stuff. If it didn't happen how they're saying it, then let's clear it. But you know what? The only person that can do that is you. Me and this detective right here, we cannot write the story for you. You can do that yourself. So this is the time to do it. Because I know where you've been all day. I know the answer to that. I can sit here and ask you a thousand questions and know the answer to them. But I don't know exactly how you felt that day that you had to pull the trigger at Sade's house. If you were defending yourself, then you need to tell me. Because you are the only one that can tell me that. But listen, and this is no dis disrespect. Hear my words and hear them clearly. Okay? You did what you did. If you have to defend yourself, that's what it was. But you man up now and clarify for me. My challenge to you is be a man. You were a man that day to do what you had to do. I'm challenging you right now. Be a man, okay? Be a man and tell me what happened. Because that's the only way we can clear this shit. Forget the news. The news is not here. It's you, I, and him. That's who's here. So you're going to do that? You're going to man up or what? 
Yeah, I said, no, I ain't listen, serious. listen, bro. If okay, who pulled the gun on you, Sade or her brother? Sade pulled the gun on me. When? What you mean when? When the brother came out? When? When? Uh, before the brother even came out. You guys were talking outside? Yeah, we were talking outside. The younger brother got dropped off all that. And he went inside. Come up shooting that that's a fucking lie. That's not that's not how I wrote it. Yeah, no, and, and, and I fucking broke up with her. If you take the check, if you check the fucking text message. I did. I wasn't tripping off her. She the fuck one she the one was tripping. So I'm lying to her saying I want to fuck the family with her, which I did, but we can't we can't have what you lying. So other than that, I wasn't tripping by shit. That wasn't me. Right. So she pulled the gun on you, you had to do what did you do? I disowned her. I disowned her. You took it from her? Yeah. And what did you do with her gun? And I put it in my back pocket when her brother jumped me. I guess it had to fall out. It fall out. And when did you take your gun out? Well, me and him were cousin. It that the older brother, Ronald, right? Yeah. You know him as Ronald? The older brother, yeah. Okay. Who did you shoot first, him or her? Man. Him? Because he was hit, he was on you? They know um, I'm I, I talked to my lawyer because y'all just beat me up, but you want me to talk to you though. I'm a kid. I, I wasn't there. I'm here. I asked for. I asked for somebody to I, find you. They ain't had no been. I ain't got no problem talking. I ain't trying to hide shit. I motherfucking did. But and I'm not disrespecting you either. Am I treating you with it respect? Was, it was events that that, that that went along before that. I ain't just do no shit like that. that okay. So so fast forward, man. Fast forward. We go through all this stuff. You do what you do. Right. Whatever happened. I'm all here fucked up. What you mean fast forward? No, I'm I'm fast forwarding to to last week, uh, ten days ago. Marquise, we got to know what happened. Okay, we got a grieving family here for a police officer. They want to know what happened. They de deserve to know what happened. You know Sergeant Clayton was good people. Okay. I don't. I don't know. Her. You know what she is. You guys went to I the same school. Would. You guys came from the from the name same know, neighborhood. Did, you know she was good people. Prison. I don't fucking know. Tell her. us what happened with her. Did she did she draw down on you I first? What happened? Y'all know she drew down on me first. No, we don't. You're with, you're the only one there. Tell us what happened. Man, y'all know she. She draw down. Did she fire the first shot at you? Y'all know she draw down on me first. Why is she shooting at you? In front of everybody. The fuck. That ain't that ain't that one professional. If if I was police officer, I'd have sat back. And, and got she started called him back up out of way down and, and followed the goddamn car. See what car he got in. That shit was dangerous for everybody. They ain't called that much. So she came at you. I mean, we don't know this. Yeah, this is yeah, why we need came, you to tell yeah, us. She came at me. Yeah, for what? What she? What she, she do when she came at you? She pulled a gun on me. Y'all know she came at me. Shit. Okay, we didn't know that she pulled a gun first. This is what kind of stuff we need to know. She pulled a gun on you. Then what? Man, I, I need to rest. I, I need to be better, man. Come fuck you, up. This is this is your opportunity. Marquis, this is your opportunity. Yeah, Everyone's been saying all these things about you. This is your opportunity to set the story straight. Talk. I just talk to y'all because I ain't, I ain't tripping. Well, okay, well, if you ain't tripping, man, it's, it's like this, man. No, because y'all don't fucking fuck me up. Marquis, Marquis, we are not the ones that messed you up, okay? We're the ones giving you the opportunity to tell the truth about what happened between you and Sergeant Clay. Yeah, I don't really talk to you. Marquis, let me ask you this. Trying to goddamn talk on court. Okay, and Marquis, Marquis. We shot it down and let her turn me in. Marquis, 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 check me out. No, Marquis, check me out. You worry about how you feeling right now, okay? Well, tell me something, man. What goes through your mind when you think about your baby in that belly and not, not living anymore? That baby died because of the actions that happened that day. So you worry about you, that shit's gonna heal. That you, you, you might get a scar, you, you know what? In three days you'll be, you'll be eating fine. That baby is dead. If Sade, look, if Sade deserved it, then you tell me she deserved it. I got a hole for being my fucking mouth. But you cannot tell me that Sergeant Clinton deserved what happened to her. You're tired, I know that. You've been running for a long time. You're not eating right, you're not sleeping right. Then they, then they lock my family up. People, how the fuck am I to help me? I'm about trying to buy my own food out of Walmart. Fuck up out here. Well, Marquise, that's what they let's say. Just, let's, 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 let's just, Marquise, Marquise, this isn't, this is about getting the truth out right now as to what happened between you and Sergeant Clayton, okay? We need to know if Sergeant Clayton pulled that gun on you first. We need to know if you felt threatened, if you did what you had to do. Yeah, yeah, Tell us what on. happened. Yes, yeah, she pulled a gun on me. Did she threaten you? Yes, yeah, she pulled a gun on me. Y'all know she pulled a gun on me. I got the tape. And is that why you did what you had to do? Yeah. So yeah. tell us what happened. If you're threatened, tell us what happened. Man, I ain't got to talk. Man. I, I talked to my lawyer and let him talk to y'all. I don't told y'all nothing. And y'all done beat, beat the fucking shot at me. And I ain't have to do that. Was she, pull, was, she, was she threatening you in the parking lot? Was she threatening you at the door? When did exactly were you being threatened? This is your opportunity, Marquis. 
That blood will heal. Those wounds are going to heal. Okay? That will heal. All of that is going to heal. What happened with Sergeant Clayton? That's a whole different story. Okay? Did she come at you and threaten you? Did you have to do what you had to do? Tell us why you did what you did. Was she threatening you when she was on the ground? Was she, when she's on her back and you're shooting her, were you feeling threatened? She was shooting the whole time. She's shooting at you while she's on the, on her back. She was shooting How can she shoot you from shoot at you from her back? If I'm on the ground, I'm shoot from the ground too. If they on the ground, I mean shit. Okay, so she's on her back. She's shooting at you. Is that why you're why you're shooting at her? Is that why? Marquis, these are simple questions. She's on her back shooting at yeah, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. And I ain't Tell us what's happening when she's shooting on when she's on her back shooting at you. Tell us what's happening from there. Is that why you shot at her while she's on her back? I ain't, I ain't poke nobody. I ain't did shit nobody. She, she's shot. She's on her back while she's being shot, Marquis. There's only one reason why you're doing this. Okay? Defending myself. You're defending yourself against her? Why didn't you just run? You had the opportunity to run. You had the opportunity to fight. No, you had all kinds of opportunities. You chose to shoot. Why did you choose to shoot? You telling me you can't outrun her? You can't outrun a female with, with 30, 40 pounds of gear on her? You gonna try and tell us you couldn't outrun her? Markeith, why did you choose to shoot instead of run? Markeith, why did you choose to shoot instead of run? I ain't shooting none. Mm -hmm. Why she choose to approach me instead of follow the car? With all the computers and she put all on What difference would it have made whether she approaches you or 10 police officers shoot you? It would have made a difference because the car would have been surrounding and said what you could have came out. You saying you can't help yourself and that's why you had to shoot? Man, you saying that. Now we then, then tell, now, then now tell now us we, what happened. You're we, not telling us anything. Now we finna finish talking because you're trying to put words. No, no, no. Tell us what happened. That's the question. Man, y'all give me some She came up, she came to talk to you. You pulled a gun. You had the opportunity. To, then tell us. We don't know. Shit, that's a damn lie. Then tell us what happened. I'm gonna tell you shit because you're not trying to put words in my goddamn I'm mouth. I'm trying to ask you to put words to put your own words out there. I ain't trying to put words in my mouth. Just like you chose to shoot, just instead of run, just like you chose to shoot instead of fight. You mouth. obviously can't run. You can't shoot. You can't. You can't All fight. Right. Well, what you talking for then? Go on, go then on, tell us what head. happened, Marquis. No, you say the insult, brother. All right, Marquis, let me ask you this, man. If you st yeah, start me, st look, look, okay, we're going to get you medical attention. Coming. Get medical attention. Okay? All right? Um, start me from the morning. What happened from the morning? Oh, shit. As soon as you went in there, as soon as you went in there, hear me out. As soon as you went in there to buy, to buy your food, what happened? Tell me your story in your own words, from the beginning to the end. And then we don't have to put any words in your mouth. Marquis, you went to Walmart. All y'all been doing is lying. I ain't trying to talk. All y'all been doing is lying. Y'all lot of people trying to help me. How the fuck they help me? I'm in Walmart buying my own damn food. Tell your story then. You you went to buy your own food. Because y'all really went because y'all made up shit on me. Then you tell the tell me the story. Man, yeah, shit y'all making up shit, bro. It, I don't have to make up anything if you tell me the story. Marquise, we either hear it from you or we hear it from the people that saw what you did. Yeah, we hear it from you or we have to we have to just basically that. see what the what the video says. All that. that's saying one thing. Here's your opportunity to I say what what that. happened. What's your what, where are you coming from? I need medical attention. I can't. Medical help. attention is coming. I can't even open my eye. Ain't no medical attention coming. Y'all bullshit. Why they can't yet? Y'all been saying that. Come on, man. You don't need to open your eyes, Marquise. You need to open your mouth. No. Okay. You need to fuck out my motherfucking face. Go and watch your business. I don't need to open my eye, open my mouth. What do you think you talking to, brother? Marquise, this is the opportunity that you that we're talking about. 
This is the interaction you obviously yeah, yeah, yeah. had with Sergeant Clayton. Sergeant Clayton attempted to do the right thing with you, and you chose to do what you did. No, no, about your business, brother. She tried to do the right thing. You did what you did. You said if you want to say no, no, about your okay. business, brother. Until we hear different, we gotta we gotta go with what everyone's telling us. We gotta tell us we gotta see that basically you gunned her down for no reason. You gunned down a police officer because basically you're too scared to run. Don't know about your business, brother. Until we hear different from you, that's the only option we see out there. We see you gunning down a police officer while she's on her back. Tell us something different. What did you shoot at the other police officer over there when you ran from your car? Well, Keith, man, I'm trying to give you the respect that you probably don't don't ever deserve. Why don't you just tell me, bro? Yeah, how I don't deserve I'm a man just like you. Well, then, then, man, then treat me like him, man. I'm treating you like a man, but you're not treating me like a man. You're not even looking at me, man. You can't even talk to me, bro. You. Talk to me, man. You want to see what your, your fellow officers did? Come on, man, get the fuck out of here with that bullish mic. My mother can't look at you. Give me some medical attention. It's coming, bro. I already asked for it. It's coming. Shit ain't coming yet. It's coming. Marquis, why did you shoot at the other officer? What did he do to you to make you shoot at him? Did he come at you wrong too? I mean, you gotta tell me something, man. Man, y'all got me here. I'm, I'm, I'm in pain. I'm under duress, and y'all just in here just trying to drag me. I ain't got, I ain't got something to tell y'all. I'm under This duress. is what we're trying to figure out: Are these officers threatening you? Man, I'm are you getting? Are I'm you do, taking these actions because officers I'm are threatening under, you? I'm under duress and I'm in pain. Y'all was gonna beat me up. I'm, I'm bleeding to death over here. I'm under duress and I'm in pain. Spit coming out my swallow. Spit coming out here. Blood coming out here. Well, I'm under duress and y'all here questioning me. And I'm under duress and I'm in pain. And I'm hurting. Those two things ain't gonna change, Marquis. Your pain ain't gonna change for any time soon, whether medical attention sees you or not. The duress, whatever, okay? All we hear is that these people are threatening you and you stood up for yourself, okay? We just wanna know how a police officer on her back trying to do her job is threatening you. Why you had to take that action that you did versus all the other options that you had. You had other options. Why did you choose the option you, you chose? That's the simple question. Can you tell us if the deputy was threatening you at the Highland Oaks? Can you tell us why you had to shoot at him? Marquise. You've led nothing but a gutless life, man. You've, you've shot at all your women. Sadie ain't the first woman you shot, okay? You've had a gutless life. This is your one opportunity to show some sort of, show that you're a man at you know what? You know what's Marquee. funny? You know what's funny? I'm going to use your words, Marquis. I'm going I'm to I'm use your words, and you listen to me real carefully, man. You know what you said? You wanted to be America's most wanted. You were legendary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm, tell, I'm talking to you man to man right now. You know what a legendary motherfucker does? He freaking steps on his two feet, and he freaking stands up and says, this is what I did. You want, you want your, hey, you want people to respect you and fear you? Because I was just, I was just on, the, on the motherfucking phone telling my dad, the woman called it, I was going to get shot in the bed and they turned me in so they could get the reward. Yeah, okay, well, you know, that's after the talking fact. About, man, I'm talking about you talking about being America's most wanted. What do you mean by that? You don't know me. Oh, you talking about being legendary. What is that about? About me standing up for myself. They're standing up for yourself? Anything. Y'all, police kill, police kill, and I kill with their hands up. Mm hmm. Yeah, you talking about. You kill the baby, man. Police kill, and I kill with their hands up. You kill the baby. That, that wasn't me. You kill the baby. So don't even judge me on that. That wasn't me. The, the, oh, that wasn't you. No. Oh, that's legendary. Yeah. That's a real man. That wasn't even meant to happen. That was meant to happen, but it happened. No, it wasn't meant to happen. But it happened. Yeah, but I ain't jumping on nobody. Huh? I ain't jumping on nobody. Somebody jumped on me. Somebody jumped on you. You're a grown ass man. We talking about a baby, three month old baby, in the belly. Tell me, no baby, because there wasn't no baby that jumped on me. So what you talking about? I'm talking about the baby you killed, man. All right, brother. You, you see what I'm saying? Say so it's okay for you to talk tough, mm -hmm. but when I talk tough to you, you want to back. Hey, you want to backpedal, man. Yeah, you ain't talking tough. You just trying to talk to get me to talk, but I ain't. I ain't, I ain't trying to get you to talk, man. You either tell the truth or you don't, man. Cause your words your bond. 
You, act, you either act like grown ass man right now, or you put your head between your knees, man. You got two options, bro. You got two options. Cause I'm not the same, I'm not the one sending you a coward for killing a, a, a woman with a baby in her belly. I'm not the one saying that, your people are saying that. Your people are saying that. You ran for 30 days plus, but we, we found you. So at the end, you weren't that smart after all. But you know why, Marquis? You know why, Marquis? You've done your time, man. You've done a long, long time. You know the system in and out. And you get to live for, for, for as long as you want to live. When God says, it, this is your last day, that's your last day. But Simon Clinton didn't have that opportunity. Because you made that choice for her. Shade and her baby, they didn't have that opportunity because you, you made that choice for them. Luckily, her brother lived. I ain't, I ain't made shit. Bro, your actions, man. I'm talking about your actions. And then you run because you don't want to face reality, bro. I ain't going to get no motherfucking gun. I ain't made shit. I ain't jumping nobody. I ain't made shit. So you can kill that. Tell me the reason why. You killed that baby. Tell me the reason why. You shot Ronald right straight in the chest. You tell me the reason why. You defending yourself? Then tell me the whole story and I'll listen. You shot Sergeant Clayton because she threatened you. She's giving you commands to stop and you kill her because she pulls a gun on you. That's her job. Th that's your option. That's your choice. So you a badass, man. When, do, when you do your thing, but you can't even face me and talk to me about it. Because there's no way in the hell that you can believe your own words, man. What about that other cop? Because he got behind you? You got the, you got the option of shooting at him? Luckily he didn't die. You know what we told you, mom? That we didn't want to hurt you, man. We didn't want to kill you. We wanted you to face justice. And you here you are alive. Y'all been trying to kill, but the fuck you talking about? You are here alive, man. Y'all don't frame murder on me already and everything. The fuck you mean y'all don't want to kill this motherfucker city? They're trying to kill me. So do we frame Sade's murder too? See, y'all don't frame murder on me before. But did we frame Sade's murder on you? No, but y'all motherfuckers let the motherfucker know. Did we frame the baby murder on you too? Y'all was with that. Huh? Did we frame Sergeant Clayton's murder on you? Y'all was with that. Oh, you can't say that though, right? Y'all let new people lie. So you're the victim here now? Like I just came with them and just went to You're the victim here now. That's a Tell me that. That's the code battle lie. You fucking around with the victim to y'all lies. Tell me you're a victim and I'll give you a freaking hug. Cause that's what you sound like right now. Oh, See, a real man will tell the truth. Oh. A real man will tell the truth. And I thought, you know what I thought today? That I was gonna come sit down in here and talk to a real man. But even then, you can't even, you can't even say that. You wanna be legendary with lies. See, that's a punk move. Everybody tells me, man, that guy's for real, man. Right now, I don't see that. Marquis, just, I mean, you, you every time you have an opportunity to show that the, you're the man you talk about, that you're this friggin' badass you talk, you talk about, you talk all that shit about uh, uh, how you ain't going down without a fight, and as soon as the officers confront you in the yard, you bow down like a bitch in body armor. So what are you now? I ain't talking about being no badass. What the fuck you talking about? You talking all this shit about how badass you are, but when the officers confront you in the house on Lescott, what'd you do? All right, man, we're all right, bye. You bitched out. So you, you get confronted by a by a, a female right, at the right. front door with your unborn child in her. What do you right. do? You light her up. Sergeant Clayton's right. trying to do her job and tell you what to do. No, what do you do? Right. You hide behind a pillar and you light her up. Because you a bitch in body armor. Yeah, yeah. Come out and say what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You running around talking shit on social media, I'm, I'm, saying this and jibber jabber and that. I mean, Here's your opportunity to talk about yourself. You say what happened. Like bitches and all that shit that I ain't never disrespecting. Hey, what, did you what do you want us to do? I mean, you you sitting there looking down, bleeding. You sitting down there. We're right. giving you ample opportunity to right. say what you need to say to speak the truth. And what, what do you do? What opportunity no, do you take? Yeah, Bro, what are you talking about? I'm treating you with respect. You ain't telling me nothing either. So I, it's not about getting respect or not getting respect. Because you ain't saying shit. 
You've been treated right your whole life. You've had people treat that, you right your whole life, and what do you do? You put a, bullets in them. Because you're a punk. Because you put bullets in people to treat uh, you right. What did Sade uh, ever do to you? What did that unborn child do to you? Nothing. You You're a little bitch that puts bullet in people when they do you right. Marquis. Fuck you. Marquis. Marquis, tell me something, man. And, and, and I'm over out. All right, check this out. What do I tell today's mom? Hey, la last thing I'm going to ask you, man. Hey, I'm going to ask you this. What do I tell today's mom? Do I tell her that you're sorry, that you said you don't care, that it's her fault that she's dead? What do you want me to tell her? Huh? You were going to call her parents to call so they can turn you in and get money or whatever. No, I'll go call her father. Her father, all right. So you're gonna call her father, but for call her is, is that is that gonna be is that gonna be your your I'm sorry? Here's here's some money that that's all she was worth, a hundred thousand dollars. No, I wasn't about no money. So what was it about? You were tired of running. All all, all, I, all I need to know is what do I tell these people? You know another deputy going out there to help out after you kill Sergeant Clinton die. What do I tell his parents? That it was in vain? That these, these people died for no reason? What do I tell them? Because to me it's more important what the, what the family has to hear coming from you. Because I don't think you're ever going to say sorry to them face to face. So why don't you just let me do that? Why don't you just tell me, tell today's mom, tell her stepfather, her father, whoever, this is what it is. And I'll go tell them. And you tell me, we'll go tell Sergeant Clinton's family, this is what it is. I mean, if you're sorry about it. That's a simple question, Marquis. Are you sorry about it? Are you sorry it went down like it did? Is that what you wanted all along? Is that what you, did you walk into the Walmart that day to say, I'm going to kill the first police officer that says shit to me? Is that what you walked in there thinking? You obviously didn't want to die. That's why you were wearing body armor, right? So it was all about you. That's a little selfish to me. You should have stood there and said, hey man, come get me. This is where I'm at. If that's what you wanted, if you wanted to fight. See, you're not the type of man to hide. I know that. But you know what? The 30 days, the last 30 days, you proved me wrong. You proved me wrong. Because your whole life, you do what you want to do. Yeah, you spent some time in prison. That was a small price to pay for all the shit you've done in your life. And you know it. And you stupid motherfucker, I ain't did shit in my life, so you can shut your damn mouth. I ain't never did shit. I ain't never had a felony tie with a prison. So the fuck you talking about? Now you just rapping. I ain't never... I'm just rapping? Yeah, because I ain't never get in trouble. You just rapping. I'm just rapping? Yeah, you just rapping. So one day you decided to go on freaking Shusha Day. Oh, I I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me see. Oh, uh, she came at you with a gun. But you don't want to tell me the whole story. Oh, oh wait a minute. Uh, Sergeant Clayton, the same thing. She came at you with a fucking gun, right? Oh, you're a fucking victim every goddamn time. But every time you decide to pull up a gun, yeah, no, 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 I'm giving you respect, man, I'm giving you respect, it's not about rap, it's not about rap, see, you don't want to hear it, that's why you're telling me to be quiet, because for the first time in your life, a man just like you, stands right in front of your face and tells you the truth, because in the street, you say what you want, and motherfuckers don't do shit, because they scare you, I'm not scared of you, I'm telling you the truth, and you can't handle that. You cannot handle it. Because a grown ass man like you, me, is telling you the truth to your face. And you can't even talk. You want a little freaking band aid on your face. That's some bitch ass move. And you know it. You worry about the little blood coming from your face. You forget. You forget that I was there and I looked at Sade. You forget that I was there that I went over there when they split her wide open and I saw what you did to that baby in the belly. See, I was there. But to you, you're a victim. You slide, bro. You're a victim. You want some victim compensation? You want us to wear a pink ribbon for you? Marquis, do you want us to say anything to the, to the, the families of these people? We're going to go talk to Sergeant Clayton's people. We're going to talk to Sade's people. Okay? We're going to talk to the, the, the deputy who, who was killed chasing you people. Do you want to say anything to them? Do you give a shit at all to that, that woman who's probably one of the truly nicest, biggest heart police officers I've ever met in my life? A woman who truly gave a shit about this community, yeah. who truly got into this line of work to make, a, make the community a better place. And you shot her down like a fucking dog because you're a little goddamn pussy. Okay? Do you want anything to say to, to, say to that family? Your mom. 
Huh? Your mom won't pussy. Whatever, dude. Uh, you're, you're a little bitch and you know it. You want to say anything to that family? Do you want to say anything to that family? The dad that be thinking when he gets some respect and he disrespect more. What respect me. do you deserve? The fuck you deserve the respect of any rabid dog on the street. Alright, well go okay? on then. What the fuck you stepping in front of me for then? That's about the, the smartest business. thing you said all night. Go on about okay? your business. Smartest thing you said all night. Go on about your business. What you still here for? Yeah. You got that right. You, 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 you got it right. right. Ain't, ain't no more good nothing. Y'all gotta give respect to give respect. Uh, did I give it to you? I, I gave it to you, right? I, 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 I gave it to you. I talked to you like a man. I talked to you like a man. I talked to you. Let me ask you something. Did I disrespect you? Did I disrespect yeah, yeah, you? Yeah, both of you. Uh, how did I disrespect you? Yeah, you called the same shit too. Because I told you the truth to your face. Mm-hmm. I didn't call you no names. You don't want to hear the truth. I didn't call you no names. You know what I did? I told you the truth. I told you the truth. But man to man, if you're not going to freaking tell me the truth, if you're not going to talk to me like a man, then tell me that. Tell me, man, I can't do it. I cannot talk to you like a man. Just say it. I got a goddamn hole in my mouth. Y'all talking about other shit. Shade had a bunch of them in her body, too. And so did that baby. And so did Sergeant Clayton. You want to compare holes? We can compare holes. Yours are gonna heal, okay? Yours are, your 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 wounds are gonna heal. You're gonna be fine, okay? I read something you put on freaking Facebook. You talk about love and God and God first and family this and family that. That's a load of shit there. You know, I, I look at it, you man. This guy can be the nicest guy one day, and 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 the opposite the next. See, I think about, damn. You know, sometimes I get pissed off, man. Sometimes I want to say some things to my woman. Sometimes I want to say some things to my kids. Sometimes I want to say things to, to the people I work with. You know what? And I hold back. You know why? Because most of the times I'm wrong. I'm jumping to conclusions. But you, not you, you don't say something. You pull a gun, you freaking shoot it. Girl in the past, pissed to you. You pissed to her. Pull a gun and shoot at her. And then, and then none of that happened, so you just shut the fuck up. No, no. Would you fucking none of that happen? How about Sade? Did that did not happen? Did I make that shit up? Am I am I imagining things? Is it a fairy fucking tale that she's dead? Cause last time I freaking checked, when I stood right there and they were doing an autopsy, I I I, I know what I saw. I've been doing this for a long time. You're good at what you do, and I'm pretty sure that I'm good at what I do. And I know what I saw. Girl, you, you, you say you're right? defending yourself. You say that these people are coming at you, they're attacking you. Even when you defended yourself, even when the, the attack stopped, Sergeant Clayton, she was down. She was down. You already shot her. She wasn't getting up off her back. But you had to do what you had to do and stand over her and finish her off. Okay? Don't try and say that, that was def- you were defending yourself. You willfully went in there and did what you did. You willfully went in there and killed her. You had all kinds of options. Starting with the second she walked out the door trying to do her job, you had all kinds of options uh, that did not involve doing what you did. And, and, and the best option was to hug, to fall back, and watch the curb, all that. At some point, the police got to come at, come at you. Yeah, so yeah, she yeah. falls back and she watches you, and other police officers come. You wear a body armor and you got a, and you got a 40 cal on you. And they already coming. And, and, and then what are you gonna do? You gonna shoot more officers? How many officers would it have? How many officers would have been the, the appropriate they number they before you would have given up? They could have wrote me off anywhere. And then what? They could have wrote me off anywhere. How many officers would it have taken to stop you? Since one is not enough. They chased you. You had that opportunity. You shot at the deputy. Okay. You took that opportunity. Every encounter that, every time someone fronts you, you go to gun. And then y'all already made up stories and shit. Well, you had. What you know, story had, is made up? Yeah, I just went there and just shot the side of you. You've had 30 something days to come and tell your side of the story, but you chose not to. So don't talk to me oh, about oh, stories. Oh, no, 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 y'all, yeah, 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 you said the fuck my niece told y'all. Y'all, talking, y'all not responsible to what the news people play, man. Y'all get the fuck out of here. No, you, your, your niece told me two stories. That's why she ended up over there, had the head cuffed and, and, and in jail. She told two different stories. So don't be confused. I clarify all your freaking doubts. I sat down and I talked to her. 
But you've had 30 something days you to come and tell your story. You've had 30 something days to. You could have prevented. You could have prevented, you could have prevented wow. your niece from going to jail by coming in here the very next day and saying, hey, this is what happened. You like, didn't do that. Because she ain't did shit. How the fuck a motherfucker doing something? Day two. And yes, I'm, she did. And I'm in Walmart trying yeah. to motherfucker. Yes, she did. She went and got money for you. And she went and got that money from my motherfucking door. That's my motherfucking check that I worked for all week. And I told and him brought to, it to you. And I told him to give it to my motherfucking child. That went to my motherfucking door. What the fuck y'all talking about? Y'all know what the fuck y'all talking about. Well, that's what she said. She, she got the money for you. She ain't told you shit. I know damn what she ain't told you, but she ain't brought me shit. That was my motherfucking child and my motherfucking grandbaby. So y'all can kiss my ass with that bullshit. Ain't nobody gave me shit. I gave away every motherfucking thing. Ain't nobody gave me shit. Ain't nobody gave you free food? Ain't nobody gave me shit. Ain't nobody gave you free food? Ain't nobody gave me shit. I bought my own, got my own shit. Well, you don't think that we, we're capable of, uh, you know, looking at your, your farm records, talking to people. You don't think that we went and talked to these people and they said, yeah, we talked to them. He asked for money. He asked for food. He, this yeah, is what... I, I ain't asked nobody to fund no motherfucker. That's a motherfucking lie. Like so they're lying on you. Mother's going to tell people what the fuck was really going on. All the other shit. So, so they're lying on you. Tell people. us about it. All right. It's just, it's just tell it. I mean, the people you're calling. We see, obviously, we're following your phones. This is why you're here. You're calling these people. You're, we're following those phones. What's the conversation about? You leave Walmart. You just kill Sergeant Clayton. You leave Walmart, the first person you call. You're obviously looking for help. That person give you help? I don't need no help. Why are you calling him? I don't need no help. Tell people I then what, what are you calling him? What are you, what are you telling him? Help. When you call him, tell us about the phone conversation you had with him. I don't need no help. You damn sure needed help, and you damn sure reached uh, out, and you damn sure called uh, some people. How I need, how I need the help? How I need the help? Because you just killed a police officer, and you're trying to get out, of, get out of the area. I ain't need no help. You did that all by yourself? I ain't need no help. Did you do it by yourself? You seen it? Then ain't nobody with me. I ain't nobody okay. around me. All right. Now, how did you get from point A to point B? Somebody had to give you a car. Did you steal a car to get from point A to point B? You bailed from the VW. Where do you go from there? Up in the reserves. Where do you go from there? Medical attention, brother. Where do you go from the in the reserves? Where do you go once you leave? Once you bail from the the VW? I need medical attention. I need medical attention. Where do you go when you leave the the VW, Marquis? Can't open my fucking eyes. I don't know what my shit. Did you stay in? Do you stay in the apartments? My shit could be fucking up right now. Y'all just got me sick. Did you stay in the in the apartments or did you go somewhere else? Put my damn pants. Sit down, Mark Keith. Sit down. Them pants ain't going there. Sit down. Sit down. Where'd you go in the reserves? Oh man, we ain't talking no more. You checked that? Why didn't you shoot that man? Was your gun out of ammunition? What happened? You killed that. Where you, where you take that when you take that VW in the in the Highland Oaks? Why didn't you shoot him? Why didn't you shoot the guy in Highland Oaks? Marquis. You done talking? You done talking? You want your band aid now? All right, Marquis. Yes, sir. I'll tell you what, man. I thought you were a badass. I was gonna give you a little bit of respect, even though I don't usually give bad people respect. I was gonna yeah. give you a little respect because you beat me for thirty something days and mm -hmm. I couldn't find you. I'm not a bad guy. Okay, you, I couldn't find you. But you know what I take from from our talk today? I feel sorry for you, man. I kind of feel sorry for you. Not not in the sense that I'm gonna fucking cry, that I'm gonna fucking you know go to church and pray for you. Cause I ain't gonna pray for you, man. I, I, I'm not. You know, I haven't been to, to church in a long time, but from time to time I pray for people. I'm not gonna pray for you, man. You know what I'm gonna do, man? I'm gonna feel sorry for your fucking motherfucking ass. Cause you killed Shade, that baby, you killed Sergeant Clayton, and you ain't mad enough to fucking take responsibility for it. So if the only thing that I can tell you today, right now, before I walk out, is that I thought I was gonna fucking give you a little bit of respect. Man, you, you, you lost the very little I have for you, man. And I know you don't give a fuck. Because you much rather people fear you than fucking respect you. Guess what? 
You a rap. You a fucking rap. You nothing. In the street, you nothing anymore. You nothing but a fucking sorry ass story. Twenty thirty six. This is gonna be an uh, interview with Marquis Floyd in reference to Shade Dixon's and her unborn child's death. This interview was conducted at the Orlando Police Marquee. Department headquarters. The time right now is gonna be Open your eyes, Marquis. 39. Open your eyes. That was a true angel right there you put down. It was a true angel you put down because you're a pointless little fucking dog. Okay? And my only regret is that you're breathing right now. You get what you got coming. Legendary. I thought you were really gonna put up a fight. Right. I don't fear nothing. That fucking bitch. You don't fear nothing. You, don't you know what? Beat this case. Put me in the street. Beat the case. Mm -hmm. That's what you gotta do. Beat the case. Beat the case. Because there will be another fucking day. And you know what next time is gonna happen? It's not gonna be Sergeant Clayton. It's gonna be somebody like me. No, you just rap. Yeah, I'm just rap. You a fucking rap. Be you had, you had the test. opportunity. You, you, don't had, you do had opportunities to do all the shit you talked about. You had all kinds of opportunities to talk about. And what'd you do? You crawled out on your hands and knees. You know what you are. You'll get your bologna sandwich later. And Keith, they're gonna come here and take some photos of you in a few seconds, all right?
All right. Do me a favor, sir. Let me, let me move this light. Oops, hang on. If you would, stand over here toward, towards the, the uh, corner. Okay, and turn around, and if you could face the... This way. Shirt off, so we're gonna have to cut off the the, the shirt, okay? Mm -hmm. Medical shears. Um, mm. Get off the OT has medical shears. They can cut it off. Are they here? Um, they're not in here anymore, are they? Uh, are they, they have the shoulders hurt or something? Mike, let me see if I can find some. Uh, okay. All right. Shears to, to cut off the shirt. You you can have a seat if you want. Mike, we're gonna call. I right, just have a seat there. That won't pull up over his head, or because of the injury. Uh, no, because it, it's it's underneath of his armpits. Uh, okay. Um, we're gonna call if he's transported. SRT's on standby. Okay. From the jail to the jail. Yeah. We're gonna okay. call Lefty. You can make that happen for us. Uh, uh, do it. Do it from. Uh, no, just step outside here. Okay, Miss, Mr. Lloyd, I'll be cutting these, these off. These are regular scissors, so don't move, okay? Mm Oh, watch the floor, man, slipper. 
Okay, move move to your right a little bit. Okay, yeah. Okay, can you go to the side? No, no, no. Okay. Okay, spin around. Yeah. 
What's going on with you? I don't know what they did. I was not there. Mm. Okay. Where exactly are you experiencing pain? In your eye? Anywhere else? Where else? Just all over your face? Okay. Well, I'm here to just bandage you up a little bit and check your vital signs and whatnot, okay? Do you have any medical history? Any medical problems? Seizures, diabetes, asthma, anything like that? Yeah. Just watch the end. Do you take medicine every day? Are you allergic to any medicine? He will be getting transported to the hospital. Mm -hmm. I can't technically clear him, but as long as he's going. Yeah, that's the game plan. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I can't say. Just figure we'd have you guys take a look I at it at least. We're gonna start vital signs and then probably bandage that up a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Bit. Did, 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 you guys can do that. Be great. You guys will maintain custody and take him to the hospital. Yeah. Do you have any more? Do you have any more? Danny. Yeah, I'm right here. I'm here with you. Where do you want me to go with the bands? What's that? Can you tell me what you want? I get it. Okay. Saving it. Can you look out for a second, please? Yeah, a little saline. Normal saline? Yeah. We're going to use some saline and wipe some of that off your face. Then I'm going to cover the eye and your cheek with a bandage. Those are perfect. Okay. All right, let me get a hold of it for a piece of the captain out there. He's coming in to clean your face off. Where his lacerations are. Yeah, Left eye, <coughs> nose, cheek abrasion. Yeah. Yeah. No. Contusion. You see anything on the back of his head? Everything is pretty much concentrated in the face. Which one? Right one? What hurts? Does it feel like you got a cut or does it feel like a like a muscular or bone injury? Oh! It's just water, buddy. No, I see. It's water. Just where he touched hurts? to his spine. Mm -hmm. Anything on your legs? No, if you don't feel anything. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, like, I'm sorry? I got a yeah. little my okay. because my partner is... No, you got it. Okay. 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 This is how you spell his middle name, Mark Keith. I'm good. Where's mm -hmm. the date of birth? October 8th of 72. Uh, 75? 75. 75 is that what he said? just doing DLS. Mm -hmm. Since he's going to be getting transported by Yeah, yeah. Long, so you DLS. You 42? 41. 41? Just, uh, 
making sure we get the clear medication that we're... You want more in the front side or alcohol, you know? Jack, did you hear that? Clear mentation, the yeah. status, everything. Exactly. Just make sure that we we know where. You know where you're at right now? Okay. You know what state you're in? Okay. You know what month it is? Okay. Who's the president right now? Okay. Look up for Yes. You want the eye? You want the yeah. eye? Uh, you want the eye? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the eye. Oh. Oh. Gotta put some pressure on. Oh. 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 What are you told to do? Oh. Just keep it from bleeding.
you have a run number already? Yeah. Do you have you email that or is that just work? It's you. What? I need to vote.
<laughs> These are the good stories.
Okay, stand up. Let me pull pull your pants up a second. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna have to. Uh, yeah, just what do you think? Well, no, 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 because no. we're we're gonna have to uh, to put the belly you? chain on around this. Yeah, just zip it up halfway and put right. his arms on the back. And then put and then put one one cuff in at a time. Okay. Put his arms. Okay. Have a seat again. Zip it up more. Just put his arms on the outside of the back. Mid Don't put his arms. Lord, on. have a seat for me. Okay. Straight. I got you. I got you. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, try to get the up. There we go. There. Okay. Okay. Lucy, you like again? Yeah. Okay. Which one? Okay. Okay. Stand up for me, sir. You're saying you don't want us to take the. No, you will. But yeah. Yeah, he's got to do the belly chain now, and then, and then the hands will go. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Or just patrol now, I guess. Just, just keep in mind, we're not used to, to doing this, but with, with, so with the... We'll probably do like a shadow box with a lot of stuff, so... Okay, no more at a time. Yes. We're going to choose uh, this arm first. We'll put it in the sleeve. Somewhere where we can't have access. Come out. Seat straight, straight back. All right. Okay. Give me your, give me your number. <laughs> 